off to the bones of the foot. Um, it's not. It's much less complicated than what you learn of the hand, the uh, bones that we had, the carpal bones of the hand. Here we have uh, two rows of uh, bones. Uh, we have um, this one here would be your talus bone that articulates with the distal end of your tibia to make your part, major part of your ankle joint. Uh, we have the calcaneus bone to which the Achilles tendon inserts right here. And we have um, a, a bone that looks more like a, a cubical bone. So we call it cuboid. It's almost like a squarish bone. That would be your cuboid bone. And we have a bone that looks like a boat. That would be your navicular bone. Your navicular bone. Then we have three other tarsal bones. We have, and they are called cuneiform bones, cuneiform bones. We have lateral, medial, and intermediate cuneiform. Then we have the metatarsal, one, two, three, four, and five, counting from the halos, which is the big toe, to the little toe, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we have the phalanges, um, two of them would have only distal and proximal, except those three will have distal, proximal, and middle phalanges, right? All right, so these are the bones of your foot. Um, we will move from that point into the muscles of the lower limb. So we'll see you in the next video.